In this video, we're going to finish up the order of operations worksheet within the free worksheets Algebra 1 section on CUDA software. And I'll leave a link in the description below so you can access this worksheet. So to finish up this worksheet, we've already done 1 through 10 in the first video, then 11 through 20 in the second video. So we're going to do 21 through 26 to finish it out. And just a quick review of the order of operations, let me go ahead and write this out. PIMDAS. PIMDAS stands for parentheses, so you're going to evaluate anything within parentheses first. So for this first problem, 21, we're going to evaluate 5 plus 9. Then you're going to do exponents. Lucky enough for us, this worksheet doesn't have exponents, so we're not going to have to worry about that. Next will be multiplication and division. And remember, the order of these doesn't matter, so you could do division before multiplication. But both multiplication and division need to come before any addition and subtraction. But again, addition and subtraction, just like multiplication and division, are interchangeable. So you could do subtraction before addition, but these operations come last. So let me go ahead and get rid of this. And like I said, we're going to do 5 plus 9 to start on 21. That's going to leave us with 8 times 15 divided by 5 minus 5 plus 9 is going to give us 14. Next, it's going to be either division or multiplication, but this division will be easier to do first. So 15 divided by 5 gives us 3. So we're left with 8 times 3 minus 14. And multiplication comes before subtraction. So we're going to do 8 times 3 to start. 8 times 3 is going to give us 24. So we're going to have 24 minus 14, which is 10. So the answer for number 21 is 10. And again, like I mentioned in the first video, I like to box in my answers just to keep them separate from my work, but that isn't necessary. So let's move on to number 22. So 22, we're going to need to add in some parentheses for the denominator because there's an operation within this fraction. And the fraction bar splits up the numerator and denominator. So the numerator can also be in parentheses, but we don't need to put parentheses around a single whole number, only when an operation is involved. So with that being said, we're going to evaluate parentheses first. So we're going to have 2 times 7 minus 10 divided by, or all over, 9 minus 4, which is 5. Now we have three operations left. We have multiplication, we have subtraction, and we have division. Multiplication and division come before subtraction. So it doesn't matter whether we start with the multiplication or division first. Let's go ahead and just do the multiplication first to start. 2 times 7 is going to give us 14. So we're going to have 14 minus 10 divided by 5. Now we're going to have to do the division since division comes before subtraction. That's going to give us 14 minus 10 divided by 5, which is 2. 14 minus 2 is equal to 12. So the answer for number 22 is 12. Now let's look at 23. First, we're going to evaluate what's inside of the parentheses. And remember, the order of addition and subtraction doesn't really matter. With that being said, I'm going to do 2 minus 2 first, since that's going to make it easier on us later. And you'll see why in a moment. So within the parentheses, we're going to have 10 plus 2 minus 2 is 0. And then outside of the parentheses, we have times 6 minus 1. And we all know that any number plus 0 is just that number. So 10 plus 0 is going to simply be 10. That's why I did the subtraction first. So 10 plus 0 is 10, and we're left with times 6 minus 1. Now we have two operations left, multiplication and subtraction. Multiplication comes before subtraction, so we're going to do 10 times 6 which is 60, then minus 1 will give us 59 as our answer. 
So number 23 is 59. Going on to 24, we can recognize that we have an operation within a fraction. So we're going to need to add parentheses in. And let's go ahead and evaluate 2 times 5 to start. So we're going to be left with 49 divided by 7 times 60 divided by 10. Now we have three operations left. We have division, multiplication, and division. It would be more complicated to multiply first because then we would be multiplying the numerators, the denominators, which would still give us another fraction. However, if we divide first, each of these is going to give us a whole number. So I'm going to do this in one step. I'm going to do the 49 divided by 7, and I'm going to do 60 divided by 10, but I'm going to leave this multiplication in place. So 49 divided by 7 gives me 7, leaving multiplication in place. 7 times 60 divided by 10 is going to give me 6. 7 times 6 will give us 42. So our answer to number 24 is 42. And if that confused you at all by doing the division within one step, go ahead and break it up. So do 49 divided by 7, so you get 7 times 60 divided by 10. And then do 60 divided by 10, so then you'd get your 7 times 6. So if you need to write out every single step, go ahead and do so. Or you can consolidate your work like I did and do it in one step. Just be aware that when you're trying to do things within the same step, it could get a little tricky. So if you're still uncomfortable with the order of operations, please make sure you're doing it step by step. Let's go on to 25, our second to last problem. Here we have parentheses and one, two, three, four operations within that. We have addition, multiplication, addition again, and subtraction. Well, we know that multiplication comes before addition or subtraction, so let's go ahead and start with that. Six times two is what we're going to do first. So we have two plus our six times two will give us 12 plus two minus four, and all of that times two. Now we can do the addition and subtraction within the parentheses in any order we'd like. So let's just go ahead and go from left to right. Two plus 12 is going to give us 14. So we have 14 plus two minus four. All of that times two. Next, let's go ahead and do 14 plus two. So that's going to leave us with 16 minus 4, and all of that times 2. And 16 minus 4 is going to leave us with 12 times 2. Finally, doing our multiplication, 12 times 2 is 24. So the answer to number 25 is 24. In number 26, we have a fraction bar, and we have an operation within the denominator, so we're going to need to add in our parentheses, or insert the parentheses around that denominator. We have two different sets of parentheses. We have 5 minus 1, and we have 3 plus 6. We know we're going to do parentheses first, and neither of these are inside of each other, so we can evaluate this parenthesis completely separately, then this parenthesis, all within the same step. So let me go ahead and do that now. We have eight divided by our five minus one is going to be four. So we have eight divided by four times, now let's do this parenthesis, three plus six is nine. And then all of that times three. So what I did was just each parenthesis all in one step. The five minus one was four, and the three plus six was the nine. Now we have division and multiplication left and the order doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go from left to right. Eight divided by four, I know is a whole number. So to make this simpler, this is going to be two. Eight divided by four is two. So two times nine times three. Now remember multiplication. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two 
times three to start. So two times three is going to be six. So we're going to have six times and then the nine was left over. So six times nine. We know that six times nine is equal to 54. So our answer for 26 is 54. Now you may be asking why I multiplied two times three before I did the two times nine. Mentally, for me, it's easier to multiply nine by six rather than two times nine, which is 18 by three. 18 by three still gives you 54, but six times nine is easier to do in my head. And because it's multiplication, the order didn't really matter. So for number 26, the answer is 54. And with this answer, that completes the order of operations worksheet for Algebra 1 within the free worksheets in CUDA. And again, I'll leave the link below. And please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment if you have any questions. And when you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll get updates of when the next video comes out. So if you're looking for another CUDA software worksheet, or maybe if you're looking for a tutorial video, you'll get updates sent to you.